I guess I, I first got interested in, um, in rotaviruses as a disease, a severe disease of, of infants and young children when I was a resident at Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh. Um, there was a, a, a child who had uh, who'd come in, the mother was, was very good, very attentive to the child, and the child had developed fever and vomiting, a little diarrhea the night before, and she called the, the pediatrician's office, and, and the pediatrician told her to do what he would have told anyone to do, which is to give the child frequent sips of, of fluid that contained uh, sugar and minerals, and the mother tried tried but was unsuccessful because the child's vomiting uh, precluded her from really getting sufficient fluids into, into the baby. And so she brought the child eventually to our hospital after only really about 10 hours of being sick. And by the time the child got to our hospital, uh, she was severely dehydrated. And, and so we brought her back to the treatment room. We tried unsuccessfully to put uh, intravenous lines into her arms and into her legs. Eventually we cut a, uh, called a, uh, a surgeon to come down to try and hopefully thread an intravenous catheter into her ex external jugular vein, a vein in her neck. But while we were waiting for the surgeon to get down there because the child was so severely dehydrated and frankly in shock, is we took a large bore needle, essentially a bone marrow needle, and drilled it into the bone just below her, her knee, trying to get fluids into her bone marrow that hopefully would be taken up into her bloodstream and prevent her from dying. And, and, and while we were doing that, the child uh, uh, coded, and, and, uh, meaning the heart stopped beating, and we tried uh, su unsuccessfully to resuscitate her. And, and I just remember, so I remember that moment like it was yesterday. And, and the, you know, the mother was standing outside. She had to see what was going on. And, and there was no moment harder than the next one when we had to open the door up and, um, and, and tell her that we'd failed to save her, her little girl. And, and that, uh, that struck me, that how, how awful of an event uh, that was. And, and, and so we, we, you know, at autopsy, we uh, were able to, to diagnose uh, that, that uh, the reason that she died was from dehydration or water loss secondary to, to rotaviruses. And it just stunned me that, that rotaviruses, which I considered to be just sort of a mild stomach virus or intestinal virus of children, could in fact kill American children. And I found an article I remember in the Journal of the American Medical Association that talked about, uh, it was, the report was called Fatal Rotavirus Gastroenteritis. It was a report of of 20 cases of children who died, and that always stuck in my head. And, and when I got to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, um, Stanley Plotkin had put together a group that included, uh, uh, at the time, Fred Clark, Mike Twist, and about to try and study uh, rotaviruses, hopefully for the purpose of developing a vaccine. And that's what got me interested in, in rotaviruses.